Hey everybody, this is Coach Conley. Today's video is all about breaking the press, how our team kind of struggled against the 2-2-1 press they, they fought the other day, and kind of just break down exactly what we're supposed to be looking for. Don't do a great job, but hopefully this will help you understand the concept and give you ideas on how to break it. Here, when we take this video, um, this is in our game against Chabonade. And basically, you have them sitting in a 2-2-1. Two, two, you can see it right here. You have got here, 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 two, and one back. So moving forward, I always believe that you should attack the sideline really hard first. And we didn't really do that. One, because our spacing right here wasn't very good. So this guy right here needs to be further down the court to really create that space. It's too easy to guard him. You can see they're matched up right there. So here we're gonna obviously fake, which is great. We're gonna reverse the ball. So off this ball reversal, we're gonna try to attack the sideline really hard. The defense is shifting and you'll see as he attacks this sideline, these guys right here and here are gonna try to trap to the, the corner. So in our 2-2-1, we have a guy here to reverse the ball. We've got a guy in the middle. We have a guy on the sideline. And what we're looking for is if this guy right here tries to jump this, then we have a deep pass to number seven over here. But what we're going to look for is this guy, if he attacks right away, we should automatically hit the guy on the sideline. So that happens right here. They get the trap. He slides the ball down the sideline. And you'll see as we roll forward, we do have the middle, but we were matched up right there. So an easy pass is the kickback right here. So we're gonna make that pass to the top right here. We really should probably drive and then kick it out because there's two defenders. Anytime we draw two defenders, we should probably make another pass. But here he attacks and gets a short floater here we go, we got the, the trap on this side, right? He stopped, the whole defense has shifted this way, right? And so now he's coming back to the other side. We attack the sideline hard. We draw the double team here. Now we really want this corner guy to come towards the ball. We don't really see this here. Um, and that's really what we should be getting, but we didn't get that. So it opened up the middle, not a big fan of the jump pass, but he hit the guy in the middle and we get a great kick back to the corner. And here, always like to see people drive and kick. And instead, we throw up a tough layup. Yeah. Much better job here, attacking the sideline, shifting that defense towards us. Now we're gonna reverse the ball again, attack. Now we've got space. Defender comes up. We hit the side middle on this one. Get the ball in the middle. And then a kick out, drawing the defense in hitting the wide open guy in the corner. Remember, the three keys that you're really trying to do is reverse the ball quickly, attack the sidelines. I'm a big fan of looking sideline, then middle. And anytime that ball goes to the middle, we have to look opposite first. It's usually the most open, but reversing the ball is really key. And we should always know where and what options we have before we stop dribbling. So as we're dribbling down the court, we have to know where our openings are gonna be and be able to make quick decisions. Hope this helps you get better at breaking a press. We'll see you next time.